All right, Capricorn, looking into the person that you are dealing with and or connecting with, all right, their energy towards you is the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. This looks like someone who is so determined to win you over. But at the same time, this is someone who doesn't necessarily feel good enough for you. I feel like their energy towards the relationship is one of just like wanting to get to know you, wanting to learn from you, wanting to understand you and feeling this sense of like wanting so badly to win you, to make you theirs, right? They have a lot of passion towards the situation. They're restless over the situation. They're restless over you. They want to manifest something at all costs. But yet there is some sort of conflict here. There is some sort of big difference. And either they don't feel good enough for you. There's an age difference, emotional immaturity. They're just, they don't have as many people that they've dated under their belt. They're just not as experienced. Something here is lacking and they know it, but yet they're willing to put in that work for you regardless to try to prove to you like, hey, I am worth it i can win you over i can love you you know what i mean and this person's energy is like really focused on that although they feel this sense of like loss like you know they might lose you or maybe they have already lost you and you guys are in separation right now but they do still feel this sense of like passion towards you this sense of wanting wanting to be with you wanting to Oh, God, like ravish you. They just, they see you as a trophy and they're just, they're not going to stop until they have acquired you is what I'm trying to say. Your energy towards the connection, starting off with the two of swords, air energy, Aquarian energy with the fool, the empress, the lovers. This is interesting because you're like, mm, I'm here, but I'm not here. Like your energy is like, I'm here, but I'm not fully here, <laughs> which is interesting because like, yeah, you have, you like want to start something with this person. Your energy is all about new beginnings, nurturing things, following your heart, following what's actually going to bring you joy inside. We have the two of cups here. So there is this sense of you possibly wanting to be with this person, see where things could go. But at the same time, you're like, well, hmm. Is it worth it? You know what I mean? Like, should I just keep to myself? Should I take some space? Is it worth it? Am I going to get what I what I want out of the situation? Mm, yeah. Let's see. Hold on. See, this is what I'm talking about with the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Swords. It's like wanting to manifest something, feeling an attraction towards this person, but at the same time blocking your heart. So it's like... It's like you're allowing this person to have parts of you, but not all of you. It's like you feel this need to hide certain aspects of yourself, to hide a certain, a certain part of yourself because you're not willing to share that side of yourself yet. Whereas this person is like, well, no, I want all of you, but I'm, I'm having trouble getting through. The overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune and the Hero Font, Taurus energy, and then Fixed Sign energy. But... The overall energy is one of like someone here wanting commitment, someone here wanting to make major changes moving forward towards you. And I feel like it's this person, although I do feel like a part of you does want to see where things can go. You're just a little bit more hesitant. But let's dive a little bit deeper into this. All right. How does this person feel towards you? We have the world card, the page of swords. The Eight of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Lovers. I'll move these down. Right off the bat, this is somebody who wants to know what's going on with you. <laughs> they want to understand you. They want to know you. They want to give you the world. They feel like they could give you the world. They feel very highly of you. They think very highly of you. This person is, is, I feel like, to be honest with you, I feel like this person is infatuation. Is like, they're infatuated with you. And the possibility 
of winning you over, you know? But I feel like they're so in this state of like not possibly believing that they could. That they're like, well, maybe I need to focus with work because as much as they want to put in all their work towards this connection, I feel like they feel a bit of resistance towards you. This person feels very passionately towards you. They feel connected towards you, honestly, like overwhelmed and obsessed with you almost and their desire for you. How do you feel towards this person? We have the Nine of Cups and then the High Priestess and the Moon card. So it's like you feel you feel a desire for this person as well. You feel, I mean, physically attracted to them for a lot of you. But at the same time, it's like you are keeping something from this person. And I feel like you're either keeping how you really feel about this person from this person or you're keeping parts of yourself yeah i feel like you're not telling your whole truth you're not allowing yourself to be completely open with this person and it might just be because you don't you don't necessarily trust this person because of something that happened in the past with them or something that happened with you in your past is what i'm feeling like maybe you just you had not the best of luck in relationships in your past and so you're just not ready to be that vulnerable anymore you're not sure if you're necessarily going to get everything that you that you want and that you feel you deserve out of this connection so you're not allowing yourself to be a hundred percent open and to allow this person in as much as they want to work hard for you as much as they want to prove to you you know that they are worthy of having you you are uninterested <laughs> you're not fully interested in being all that open with someone else right now again this person is definitely definitely in love with you though at least in infatuation you know what i mean like they're just they're really infatuated with you i'm not sure if it's necessarily love or like the chase you know what i mean because for some people it's just the chase what does this person want mm, the full card the ten of wands the seven of swords judgment <laughs> They want you to be an option, right? They want you to be an option in their life. They feel like you're not an option, that you're out of their league in a, in a sense. Like you're the trophy that they just can't acquire, right? This person wants a new beginning with you, right? They want to allow you to be open with them. They want you to be honest with them. They want to carry whatever weight, whatever burden you have. But at the same time, I feel like this person knows that they can't do that. Like... They don't have the capacity to do that because I, I feel like there is some sort of age difference, immaturity difference that's causing this distance. And although they want, you know, to win you over, they want a new beginning with you. They want a relationship with you. I feel like them embarking on that journey, they don't realize how much comes with that, like comes with you. Whereas a part of you, Capricorn, a part of you wants this, like wants to see where this could go. You know what I mean? Like, let me see if I can show you these cards. A part of you wants to see where it can go. You know, the passion, the romance, you know, allowing this person to be all consumed and seeing what they can actually offer you. A part of you does want that. But another part of you is like, is it going to be more toxic? Is it going to be more painful than good? You know what I mean? If I let this person come in, if I let this person prove to me, are they actually going to be able to handle me? Because I feel like Capricorn, you're a lot. Like, I don't think that you're like easy to win over. And this person clearly knows that. And so, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like they think winning you over is like the hardest part but it's like once you get in the relationship with someone there's so much more there's so much more work that has to be done from that point moving forward what are their future actions towards you see this is my problem 
the chariot and then the six of wands all right we have cancer energy and then we have the six of wands which is fire energy followed by air so it's like them coming in putting all their, de their determination into you winning you over and then i don't know them them figuring out that this is a lot more work than they bargained for For some of you, I don't see them sticking around after they win you. So if like you're feeling this sense of like, should I let this person in fully and you're being hesitant about it, I think you're doing it rightfully so because they might actually not be good enough for you. They might actually not have enough within them to handle you. Like they have enough energy within them to like win you over but not enough energy to sustain a relationship with you and i just feel like heartbreak would come of that like they were win you over they try to be all they could be and then they won't be able to be that and then heartbreak is inevitable now, i'm not saying heartbreak just on your end it would be heartbreak on their end too your future actions i feel like for some of you you really are you really are gonna you know let this person in see where it can go see if they could nurture the connection I do see, I do see for some of you very slowly, but surely I see you letting this person in. What's stopping this connection from moving forward? The Ace of Swords, the Hanged Man, Pisces energy. There's not enough. There's just, it's like, I feel like Capricorn, you're not fully in it. Like you're not fully in it. It would have to be both of you fighting, right? It would have to be both of you fighting for for the connection and I just I feel like you're good like Capricorn you're like I'm good I don't really need I don't really need to fight for this I don't really I'm not the one who approached you know what I mean it's like they approached you they need to fight they need to prove and I don't think you're really into it and that's that's what's stopping this connection from moving forward either this person doesn't have enough fight in them to sustain a relationship to work you know to have a relationship and have it work out with you. And then the other half of that is like, you're not willing to even fight for this at all. But there is desire here. It's interesting because there's passion, but there's not like a deeper love here. That's that could sustain a relationship is what I'm saying. Most likely outcome. Yeah. For some of you, you could end up in a relationship with this person, like slowly but surely letting them in, like I said, but I don't see you being satisfied. I see this person continuing to try to be good enough for you. And then it just always kind of falling short. But you guys do kind of end up in a relationship together. Or you stay in a relationship together where either you're not fulfilled. And they're not happy because they know you're not fulfilled. You know? Will you two be together? I see yes. Will you two be together? Yes. But I do see your guard still being up Capricorn. Regardless, I see your guard being up, even if you were to get together romantically, because the page of cups is like, yeah, but it's like there is there is a gap in like something. And I feel like it's emotional immaturity is where the gap is coming in between you and this person. Mm, let's see what would stop you from being together we have that page of pentacles energy again the king of swords i feel like what will stop you from being together is like you kind of waiting for somebody who is of the same caliber as you capricorn and you closing this cycle out you know what i mean like a part of me feels like this is someone who who looks at you and is like i want what you have but at the same time, they can't necessarily contribute to it. And I feel like that's exactly what would cause it, what would cause it from being, being able to move forward. What would cause you to not being able to be together is that. I feel like you, if you were in this energy of like, I don't think this person is worth it. I don't think this person has what it takes. I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right to feel that way. All right, the rest of this reading is going to be for those of you who are in no contact. All right, why is this person not speaking to you? So this person isn't speaking to you because they don't want to. This person is trying to figure out a way to transform the situation, come back in, 
spark something back up and then win you over. So they're not talk they're not silent because they want to be. They're silent because they're trying to figure out how to come back in. So I don't see them being silent for too much longer. Why are you? Yeah. The world card, I feel like if you're not talking to this person, you're closing this chapter out. You don't feel like this person is that good for you. And you're kind of like, like I said, waiting, open and, and ready and waiting for someone on your same level. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands energy here. Will they reach out to you? Yeah. I see them reaching out for sure. I see them being really determined about you. Will you reach out? Hmm. Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Ten. For some of you, yes. And for some of you, no. For some of you, absolutely not. I don't think that you, you're going to keep protecting your heart. You're not going to allow this person too close to it because you don't trust. And then for the other half of you, the answer is yes. So it kind of varies depending on what you want. Because like, if you just want a passionate physical relationship this person is is the perfect the perfect person for that but if you want something deeper than that i don't see it being that being there in that way so it just depends on what you want and that will be the result of you reaching out what will be the outcome of you two reconciling or reuniting it would be the same thing all over again we have the page of the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. So however the situation is right now or was before, it would be the same thing all over again. It would be passionate but not in, but not enduring, not stable, and it would be rocky. I just, I don't, it wouldn't, it, I don't think it would fulfill you. It would just be the same thing all over again. So whatever you were used to with this person, I see it being the same thing all over again. I don't, I just, I don't see this being something that like you should pour into if you're expecting the end all be all. If you're not expecting the end all be all and you're just looking for like something temporary, then this is, this is it. This is where, this is where it's at. But if that, that's not what you want, then I would definitely move along somewhere else. <laughs> 